Well, welcome to uh, Griska Babushka that have come all the way, well, from Iceland via Bristol. Welcome very much to Glastonbury FM. How are you doing? Oh, great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's really, really so, lovely to have you in the studio today. And I think the best thing is, is that I, I'm covered with so many of you guys here. <laughs> <laughs> but um, tell me what your first, this is your first time to the UK? This is the second time we tour in the UK, actually. We toured like two years ago when we released our debut album. But then we only made it to London. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so now this time we are going to more like these small smaller places and villages and towns yes and that's, that's fantastic yeah. so tell us a little bit about the band what you sound like and how you how you guys met well uh the sound we we did come up with a good explanation yeah. the other day uh what was it um wonky acid, acid electronic folk Music, pop, pop, pop something. Pop. Yes. It's a fusion of a lot of things, yeah. and we uh, we tend to. There are no boundaries, no rules, so the so the songs are unique in that way. Like every sound is, uh, we consider every possible sound. Yes. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing we would not out. use. So yeah, it's more like a a huge mix of um, a big sound wall, I guess, of a. Okay. Various things. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's so very playful. We yes. love we love doing you know, you know, experiments mm. and you know just doing whatever we mm -hmm. feel like at the time. It and sort I of says that you're kind of almost like fairy tale music, yes. mi mystery, uh, yeah, and of course you're singing in Icelandic. Um, what are the songs <laughs> about? I mean, I know you've got lots of songs now, and you've got a few singles. <laughs> So, uh, well, your last song, is it Radatkur? Radataktir. Go on, say it again. Radataktir. Rata one more time. Radataktir. <laughs> Try saying that what fast. Is, what does that mean? <laughs> it means the rhythm of voices. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's built up with voices and, and just, yeah, we just let everything flow. It's all of us singing at the same time, you know, doing rhythms and singing in Icelandic like mm -hmm. you said yeah yeah and uh, so how did you, are you all friends how did you sort of meet and get together how did you form uh, oh uh, we we started being three in the band which is what three years ago when we released our first album we were three and then Disa came and joined the us drummer. the drummer and then Björk joined us yes and then Iris She's oh. on, yeah She's I'm the newest, newest one. Okay. <laughs> New girl. Yes. Yeah. So you've got um, some singles out that you re re released last year, mm -hmm. um, and then you were on a Static Caravan yeah. record label for your first record that yes. came out 2013. Yes. Is that right? Are you staying with? It's a British label, isn't it? Is it's right? a British. It's a Birmingham label. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How did yeah. that come about? Uh, you know, I know Icelandic music um, is now very popular in the UK, helped by Björk and of Monsters and Men. I think that helped uh, a lot. It, how did the, this uh, label in Birmingham discover you? The the thing is, we sent out our CD to loads uh, of labels, yeah, yeah. but we only chose these quirky, like wonky ones. And Static Caravan, Jeff, he is amazing. He o only releases, you know, these quirky, wonky, li you know, little piece of gems. And all his packaging is also very original. So when he saw our packaging, which was a USB babushka stick, our album was released on a USB Papuska stick. Yeah. I think that's when we <laughs> we sold him the idea <sighs> to be our label. Okay. <laughs> um, so you've just uh, played at the Exchange in Bristol. Yeah. Um, how was that for you? How how did the gig go? Oh, it was amazing. So amazing. Much fun. Amazing. Yeah. It was fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a great day. And a mix. How would you describe the crowd? Because it, it's it's well known for everything. It's <laughs> punk, punks that come. Yes. In. You, you get all kinds of people. In there, <laughs> it was a bit funny. Though. We were telling to telling. Uh, we were trying to sell merchandise and like, oh, we have all these babushkas and now we have like these scarves. And I looked at the crowd, seeing loads of men in leather jackets, and like, <laughs> for all you gentlemen out there, maybe. Yeah. You know, I was like, are we, are we a bit off here? But actually, uh, they were surprisingly uh, receptive and encouraging. Yeah. But uh, it was, it was a contrast for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I guess there's a little bit of punk in us as well. Yeah. yeah. A creepy. Yeah. Uh, we can be punk. Maybe monkey. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yet, and yet it doesn't come across. In your it doesn't come across in your voices because your voices are very, very soft. Yeah. Yeah. And, yet, and yet, I reckon there's a dark side to you in your beats and rhythms. It's so it's I think there. it's time we should get a first song, don't you? Yeah. yeah uh, tell us about it. the song you're hoping to play and uh, what it's about. Um, the, co the song is called Slagarin, uh, which means the hit song. <laughs> 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 it was the first song we ever released and we thought it was a total hit we loved it so much yeah. we called it the hit song excellent so 
Slagaren. So I'm afraid you only have an audience of one, but you'll have a few more because uh, this is a pre-record and you're playing at the uh, King Arthur pub in Glastonbury tonight. Yes. Yeah, so uh, exciting. Uh, so hopefully you'll have a, a larger crowd than just me. <laughs> <laughs> so the three original members, who are they? Are, are you all here? No, no actually, it's just the two of us, oh, me, okay. Artis and Harpa, yeah. and then Guðrún Birna, but she's uh, busy yeah. with other stuff yeah. in these times. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, you talk... She's st still an active band she's member, she's yeah. on Snapchat. She so, you're, like so you're like a cooperative, people <laughs> come yes. and you add, yeah. and, yeah. and that's, that's a nice yeah. thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And do, do, what, Iris, you're one of the newer members, what mm -hmm. do you bring to the band that's different? Oh. Well, I guess I bring my own influences uh, as a musician. Um, which is? Which what, what, what is, are, what, what I am an electronic musician and a vocalist. Okay. I'll be warming up for Kruska Babuska at King Arthur's. Yeah. Uh, and I guess I bring, uh, well, I am a vocalist at Kruska Babuska. I play the synth, I play the violin, tiny harp. 
you know, whatever I get my hands on. So how do you write songs? Do you do it as a group collective or there are individual ideas that you bring in and say, I've got this idea? How, how do you sort of make a song? It's different. Uh, the first album we did, uh, like, a lo- lots of jams, you know? Mm. Just met the girls with a beer or maybe a tea. <laughs> you are in England. Oh, we are in England. <laughs> but in Glastonbury, it's a cider. Okay. Oh, a cider. Okay, that would help. <laughs> and then we just jammed around. Yeah. And then little by little, we started building on it, making it more electronical and more, you know, chapters and more, like, fusion. And yeah. then we started building that up more and more in Pro Tools and Ableton Live. Mm. So we record everything ourselves. Mm. And then we bring the song to the studio and add some more magic even to then the voices mm. come, mm-hmm. you know, with, with our producer. So before you got into music and you were listening to music, if you could sort of each one of you throw an idea into the pot, a name, I'm getting you to name Ooh. musicians or artists that you think has helped you or inspired you to do what you're doing now. Oh, that's tough. That's mm. tough. Well, uh, I would say that we we actually do have a a special song tonight. I'm yeah. not going to say who it is. Ooh. Should I? Yes, no. say should it. I? Say it. Uh, well, we as we are Kruska Babuska, mm-hmm. we decided it was a you know we had to absolutely had to do a cover of Kate Bush's Babuska. Oh, fantastic! It's a lovely song, isn't yeah. it? In our own wonky, uh, <laughs> yeah. creepy Sorry. way. Yeah. <laughs> But maybe, maybe you should send it to her. Yes. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah, I think I think I think the something, something's going to happen from this. Yes. Yes. She's very we private. We love this but song. She likes it's music. one of our favourite songs to play. Yeah. 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 yeah it's, it's and she is, she's such an influence to us. Yeah. Really, yeah. she yeah. is so funny. She's ahead of her time. And yeah, you know, just. I think so it was something. I don't know. I've got this right or not, but I, she played gigs last last year yeah. for the first time in oh years, God, mm-hmm. exactly. and she was the first British woman to get a number one in the charts in the 70s or something wow. you know? yeah, yeah. so I'm showing my model. age here but yeah. I have her first single <laughs> Wuthering Heights on a 45 vinyl I still yeah. got it out oh. and I still enjoy playing it oh my god so are you going to play that song later? Mm-hmm. Not now, maybe. I you think we're going to keep it a surprise for tonight surprise. But, uh, yeah. okay. it's okay. alive it's alive it's alive uh, yeah well, yeah, we got to get you ready. We got to get you ready for the gig. So I think it's time for another song. Yeah. What are you going to play for us now, guys? Next song is from, uh, which means like onwards, go, going like yes. Is that right? Yeah, onwards, For- onwards Forward. and upwards. Yeah. Gruska Babushka. Yeah, yeah. Take it away. Sjaldan út 
um allt Nánast sett á þóman Fram 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 Well done. <laughs> so that was called Fran. Fran. Fram. What, Fram. What, does that, what does that mean? Onwards. Onwards. Onwards, yes. Whatever happens, keep oh. on going onwards. onwards. So a very positive <laughs> message, which yes. we need lots of. Thank yeah. you. Well, it's been really, really great having you in the studios. How many more songs are you going to play for us now? You said ten, I think. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll be here till midnight. We will skip our gig and just play here. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, we want we want to get your music out to the people, the good people <laughs> of Glastonbury and our GFM listeners. Okay, so tell us about future plans. So you're just here on a mini tour of UK. And mm-hmm. uh, then what's up, what's next for Gruska Babushka? That's a good question. That actually. is a very good. We've been aiming oh. for this tour for such a long time, and yeah. finally, suddenly, we're here. Yeah. Uh, goes quickly, huh? It goes yeah. so yes. quickly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we'll just sure. yeah aim for some festivals in Iceland. Yeah. Start yeah. booking the next thing. So or? we know we we know about festivals in our area. We're very blessed with some uh, fantastic festivals uh, in this t- oh short walking distance from where you are now. <laughs> yeah. But what, what, what are, festival? Uh, is I that? don't know. I cannot hmm. think of who it could possibly <laughs> be. Um, <laughs> But the the, uh, the the Evis family are good supporters of GFM, so we, we like that. But tell us about the uh, festivals in Iceland. Uh, what festivals do you have? What are the biggest ones and what are your favourite ones that you like to go and possibly like to play at? We played at Iceland Airwaves last year and that was amazing. I think that's the biggest festival in Iceland. It's always yes. in November. Yeah. Uh, and we have uh, yeah. Secret Source this now in June. Yes. It's getting quite big. Mm-hmm. Ultimaras parties, yeah. Ultimaras parties, parties yeah. Sona Reykjavík. Sona was in there's, February. Yes, yeah. uh, so th- there's a lot going on. The there's big so ones, and then you have all these quirky little ones all over the country side yeah. as well, which yeah. are loads of fun. So, mm-hmm. and uh, so, have you got festivals booked that you're playing in Iceland this year? Not, not yet. yet. Not not yet. Actually, You're working it's on it. It's a work in progress. Yes. yes. Well, you must. And uh, I noticed that on your SoundCloud, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, maybe before I ask the question, how can we learn more about Gris- Griska Babushka? Tell us about your Facebook site, SoundCloud, and yeah, how to yeah. find you. We have like we have a Facebook, Griska Babushka, and we have a homepage. Yeah, webpage, GriskaBabushka <laughs> dot <laughs> and then we have yeah Spotify, SoundCloud, Bandcamp, and on YouTube, YouTube. YouTube. We have uh, many videos. Mm-hmm. To, mm-hmm. To we songs. have many videos to our songs. We love we love the visual aspect of our songs, so yeah. we like to have present them with a video or a visual art, some kind of. And do you make your own videos, or do you get help? Well. The last album we released was made by, one video was made by Björk mm-hmm. and one was directed by me and then we got three uh, female directors to r- direct the other ones. Yeah. So um, I was going to say on the SoundCloud, 
page that you've got li links a lot of your songs that you can um, stream. Yeah. Uh, it mentions that you play, you've played in some interesting places in Iceland. You like yeah. to cite some, yeah. it's more the area or the atmosphere of a, of a different place to play. Mm -hmm. So tell uh, our listeners what places that you've really enjoyed playing that's so different. Oh God. Um, we played, uh, I think two years ago, we played in this old salt fishing factory at the, the harbour side of Reykjavik. And we put up like a huge show. Do you know Sole and Samaris? No. Icelandic oh, bands. Icelandic, really, really talented artists mm. put up a show with them and DJ Fluvel and Gameskip and us. And it was a huge success. Then we had just like tunnels of beer, you know, in, in ice and people, you know, Buying some f snacks and foods and stuff. And there was like a that. crazy storm. That yeah. Night. yeah, it was a yeah. crazy storm. Still managed to almost but people yeah. still came. Yeah, yeah. And then we also we played uh, in this very wonky house of this infamous uh, director, Icelandic director, mm -hmm. uh, film director. Played on his what do you could like on in his lounge really. Yeah. <laughs> on his porch. <laughs> on his well. porch, yeah. yeah. That sounds. Um, I think I think that's really nice. It's getting quite Magica. popular in, in the UK. The sofa concerts mm. and people's yeah, houses, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and in Bristol, hopefully, you had a chance to walk around the harbour uh, in the centre of Bristol. I don't know if you had a chance to see the area. No, not yet. But um, there is a, a, a Bristol sort of a YouTube filmmaker called Harbour Sounds, and they okay. call bands. So next time you're in town, that's what yeah, you should do, and you play your song in the harbour area. Oh, um, so you mentioned the last wow. question really you mentioned that you there's some lots of Icelandic bands apart from Gruska yeah. Yeah. who else do you want to introduce to us because we only know the famous oh, ones so and there's like here isn't there there's a big Glastonbury scene as you said, as which is only known in the local area and yet they're such talented musicians we want to get them known so yeah. Who do you like in Ice in Iceland that you? So um, many, like you, you said earlier, Samaris. Sam Tite flew with a game skip. <laughs> she is amazing. We played with her a few times actually. Mm. Yeah. We recommend her really. And and Samaris, the mm. the, the trio, mm. the electronical trio. Really cool. Oh, I mean, we played with uh, just another snake cult the other day. They were amazing. Blauskjör. Blauskjör. Of course. <laughs> and Iris. And of Iris. course. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, let's have a... Uh, is this going to be, I think, maybe your last song? And uh, yes. So you, let's... Uh, First of all, thank you so much for coming in today. I hope you've enjoyed your thank mini you. tour of the UK. So happy to be here. It's, it's been a great amazing. pleasure having you today, thank meeting you, you uh, today. And can I just say, uh, on Glastonbury Calling, which is an event I was telling about a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. there is, um, is he actually from Kent, a guy called Funk and the Two Tone ba Baby? And he was okay. saying to me, it's the only time that he's actually been in Glastonbury where all the musicians are early and played on time. And I think oh. you joined that select band. You were actually here so much on time today. <laughs> <laughs> Try your best. We, 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 hearing Madonna that was three hours late in, in Melbourne or Brisbane in Australia on her tour, it's actually a pleasure to see that you're on time. Thank you so much. What's the last song you might like to play for us today? Grusko the, the Griska Vault. So we, yeah. The Griska oh, Vault. Oh, okay. That's true. <laughs> well, I look forward to having a, a, a virtual dance in the studio. <laughs> Many yeah. thanks for joining us, Griska. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Could you give me a G before we start? Yes. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. 
Really great, really, really great. Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining us. That Thank was Gruska Babushka, and enjoy the rest of your tour. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Thank you've got you one so more much. tour. So we're recording this on a Sunday, the night of the uh, King Arthur. But you've got one more uh, concert on the yeah, Monday. Yeah, we have one more. It's at the Crofters Right in Bristol. Well, thank you. You've always welcome back at Glastonbury oh, FM. We'll do it longer and more oh, fun yeah. next time with a crowd. <laughs> thanks, thanks, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Bye.